from Thunder Valley Resort in Lincoln, California. This is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen in front of a teleprompter that I'm reading that says this is Joe Stapleton. And we are showing you poker on TV because we're giving the people what they want. And what do they want, Joe? Poker. And how do they want it? No limit at 2550 with an optional straddle. And when do they want it? After the initial chip counts. Kelly Winterhalter back on Poker Night in America. Try the new Winterhalter from Old Navy for when your stomach absolutely must have frostbite. So did you uh, qualify through one of the satellites as well? Yeah. The, the, it sounds like there was an 80 and then a 500? Yeah, I got in this with the 80. Wow, nice cool. Job. Two of you guys did that, that's right, awesome. Yeah. Wow, unbelievable. Getting to sit down at this table for $80 when you buy into a satellite, not bad. Good luck. Pretty nice free roll, almost free roll. I'd like to see a printout, David, of how much information you just gleaned from that. Just making, making conversation. One of the things about Poker Night in America, whenever we travel around the country, we always try to bring a little local flavor to the table. And here at Thunder Valley, no different. Pretty cool. Action on Doc Sands. His real name is David, but they call him Doc because he's always putting us in the waiting room. So Doc Sands with the seven tray figures this hand's a little too bad to call, so I'll just raise. Mr. Utke folds back to Winterhalter. Ace Queen suited, much like the phrase virtue signaling, she is going nowhere. All right, our first flop of the night here from Thunder Valley is <laughs> Ace, Deuce, Queen, all clubs. I mean, how sweet is this? Your hand is too bad to just call pre-flop, so you get a little out of line in three bet, and then you flop gin. I don't want to say Winterhalter's in a bad position, but there's a better chance of me going back to get my college degree than her winning this hand. <laughs> you don't have a college degree? No. You can hardly tell. I speak nicely good. <laughs> now, Kelly is way behind, but she's not drawing dead. One in five times, she is going to end up the winner if we get to showdown. Zero of five times, I walked back into a classroom to complete my education. <laughs> Did I really call a 7-3? Oh my god, I did. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Okay. Poker face. Sands calls. King of hearts on the turn. Now this is actually going to maybe help Kelly. This looks like a terrible card for her. There really aren't many hands that she's beating now. Like the only real hand that would get 3-bet before the flop that she's still beating is Jax. Does check, so back to Sands. And Doc cannot check behind in this spot. He doesn't want to see another club come down. He also doesn't want the board to pair. Bobby, you want the almond milk drink? What's that? The almond milk drink, too, right? No, I didn't order anything. It's clear Kelly's got something. Twelve fifty is the bet. Hold on. Oh no, quick call usually means trouble. And that's exactly what it is for Winter Halter. She bricks the river. And there the chips go immediately to her left. Well, at least if you want to see them, they're just right there. Well, I hope they bring a bucket with that almond milk because it looks like Kelly is about to puke. Mm -hmm. Especially Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal. It's gotta take a toll on you. This ingenuous wizards I've been smashing for about 12 years, the disingenuous wizards, and the regular wizards. Stapes is not a wizard, he's just disingenuous, that's all. <laughs> they just can't make the reads, a lot of these wizards. They're amazing players and have great mathematical abilities, but. I just kind of feel bad that I just sent a tweet out to some people saying that, no, he's a really nice guy off of the table. You know where he's a really nice guy? In the bedroom. I don't know, I just said that. How come you haven't played any of the seniors tournaments, Phil? That's what I want to know. Utke calls the race from Sands. Two to the flop. The best ever. Let me, let me just say that. Like, you'll, you won't believe it. 
I know. I, I've heard people have been telling me how uh, good this oh, is. Oh, Utki outflops Sands. <laughs> Maybe 17th would be okay. That, I don't mind if that's like my 23rd bracelet, the seniors. I figure by the time you're 55, you'll start playing. How old's Super Senior? 60? 65. 65. 65. It's right around the corner for me. I'm gonna get fake ID so I can play on those. You're not, you're not that far off from the seniors, right? <laughs> Got a few years left. Five. Another three on the turn. Not a good card for Doc. Even bottom pair is beating him now. <laughs> what 550 the bet from Sands. I said, did you really think Phil was 45 or were you trying to be nice? No, I mean, I always, I'll exaggerate a little every time just to play it safe. Yeah. Hucky <laughs> calls. Here comes the ace on the river. Oh, no, that's save Sands. <laughs> I, I think you look 35. There you go. Oh, Phil's right age is easy to figure out. He won the main event when he was 19 in 1981. 35. That would make him 48 and a half. If I, if I said 35. Well, that was short-lived. You know? uh -huh. Oh, he pays him off. 30. And Utki is out key. He is out of here. Thanks, guys. It's Phil Helmuth here in the Kimosabi Mezcal Lounge with Danielle Anderson, D Moon Girl. What's up? So, you've been crushing for a long time here in Vegas. I know you moved here about three years ago. And I, I want to ask you who's your most trusted friend? You know, my most trusted friend actually ties back to where I got into poker, which is uh, my husband who introduced me to the game. And we've been together since high school. And I don't mean to sound cheesy, it sounds so kind of lame, but um, he cares more about my happiness than his own. He truly, truly does. And I've, in my entire life, never witnessed somebody love how my husband loves me. So it sounds kind of cheesy, but- No, it, it sounds it, kind it, of- Wow. It really is, like, we really have a very, very special relationship, and there's, will never be anybody that will have my back or be more trusted than him. Let's uh, raise let's our glasses here. You know what, what let's, to drink to. let's pour a little bit more in here. I like your style. <laughs> I like where we're going with this. <laughs> a little chemo mezcal. It's like we bonded, we bonded already, buddy. Absolutely, I love it. <laughs> to trusted friends. Cheers to trusted friends. How would you like to play against the pros on national TV? Download now to play and win. It's absolutely free to play. As we get back to the action, I've got a question for you. How would you like to play poker on this table on national television? Well, our new free poker app is running a sweepstakes that will award one lucky fan an all expense paid trip to come play on our show. So if you haven't done it yet, download it now. Play some poker and we might see you on an upcoming episode. But I'm saying like in general, like you're not already more, super nitty. Like, and oh no, the game just took an ugly turn. By that I mean he's an ugly man. Time for Poker at a Glance with Matt Glance. I had Doc trapped up on that hand, but I just didn't. Jack six, why not? I'll get him again, he's playing so many hands. You think Doc Severinsen is related to Doc Sands? People generally aren't related by first name, Chris, but uh, oh. maybe. Oh, you had to make me feel embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> like the inside of my underwear after a day at the beach, this board is all Sands. Two pair versus one pair, and Rep Porter does not like to fold. This board is now sandier than Dune. Bob, do you live in Sacramento? Where Close. 625. This is a relatively right, okay. small pot at this point. I used to drive there for poker way back in the day. Yeah, I'm not sure what David Sands thinks can call him here, but he must think Rep's gonna have a draw a lot. Wait a second, you just didn't call him David, did you? I did. Because he's part of the non-witness protection oh, program. <laughs> he hasn't told anyone that they did something. It's out there all the time. Long time, yeah. What's the biggest game up there? Now, obviously, Doc Sands has to take his yeah, one last yeah. shot to value bet the river. You know I'll we'll have. But like your first girlfriend, Doc Sands right. is really going to make you wait. 20 years ago, they had a 10 and a quarter pot in a game. Really? But, yeah, and it was 
good. Oh my. Yeah, those are, yeah. It's the same now. It's 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 like maybe the last year. Insane. Twenty three hundred a pod size bet by Sands on the River. Yeah. And now that Rep's gotten here, Doc is completely polarized. After betting three streets, he's got a monster or he's got nothing. And there's not as many monsters on this board as there would be on others. Flushes miss, straights miss. It's still the casino club. It's still the same type of game that just is huge and. But it's not at the casino club. It's at the casino oh, it is. club. Okay. The other place is. And Doc Sands picks up soccer. another huge pot. Doc is just considering this game right now. Oh. And Doc shows Jack Six, which I would not do because I'm not even sure it's legal to make a full house with Jack Six. Poker Night is brought to you by Sit and Go 2.0. Go to sitandgo20.net and claim your free Sit and Go 2.0 strategy ebook. I just got a straddle because I'm waiting for the time when Phil just goes crazy and just shoves all in and mm. I have 100 out there. I just oh, get the wow. snap call. I feel like that could be the sore <laughs> I'm just waiting for that moment. And despite all that oh, straddle talk, Mac Lance is not yeah, straddling. He's the yeah. big blind. <laughs> he's, be he's better hope I don't have ace 10. I wish you would have. If you had ace queen. <gasps> I know Someone just said ace 10. Ace 10. What is Doc thinking right now? Sands has ace 10, and he has a large wow. piece of wow. meat waiting for him behind him. No, I'm not talking about the guy in the gray coat. I'm talking about that piece of steak. Oh my gosh. I just can't have it every time, Doc. You, you bluffed me and bluffed me and bluffed me, and I just can't have it every time, right? Guess we'll see. Yeah, I'm not really sure about this three bet with nines. Phil's out of position, but I think he's had it with Doc Sands. What do you think? Yeah, Phil may have lost it completely. 500. If he hadn't lost it before, he will now. One over card out there for pocket nines, and of course, Doc's got it. I think Phil's gonna turn up here with a better hand sometimes, but no way that Doc folds yet. Call. A raise and a call. Snap call from Phil. Generally, the faster Phil calls, the worse he's doing in the hand. It's a six of diamonds. Big Doc bets again. Lots of straight and flush draws to charge Phil for. I'll just grab this amount of chips. Mm. Yeah, that puts Phil all in. Phil's likely to think he has the best hand here, but first of all, he's got no diamond. Second of all, sometimes you gotta take a look at the guy that's always, 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 always had it tonight and be like, meh, maybe he's got it. That's gotta come to an end sooner or later, and you've gotta take advantage of that like, he's gonna get people to fold because they're thinking he's just unbeatable tonight. Well, maybe this is the one time where he's simply beatable. Doc, that steak looks amazing, by the way. I know, I gotta go back it to it. It does look really good. Oh, good? and Doc gets into that steak. <laughs> there is something hilarious and amazing about Helmuth, distressed and deep in thought, debating whether or not to call off his stack with second pair while his opponent, with his back turned to him, cuts a slice of steak, pairs it with a veggie, and eats like it, knowing he's probably getting called and winning the hand. Such a good color. I mean, uh, Bravo. Wait, Bravo. Oh, it's like, it's honestly, it's like this entire shot right here is being directed by David Lynch. It's your night, Sands. Eat it up, buddy. All right, I call. Here's the call. I'm chewing steak. I flip my cards. Give me the money. Ace 10. Good hit, Doc. Ah, uh, wash it down with some expensive water. Yum. Life is good. And Phil's behind, but he's not drawing dead. 6% of the time, he's gonna double up here. Dang. That unlucky 94% of the time. I have money. Phil. I have a 5K on me. Doc, I don't want any money, thank you. Awkward. Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. <laughs> Welcome back to Poker Night in America, where Doc Sands is winning almost every single pot. Some pretty weird hands. I thought you tanked like every decision just so you're not getting timing tells. No, this isn't and about the theory behind that your was like logic. In that, that was like in 2012. Wow. This happened in 2015. Well, Lee just got you good right there. No, Lee did. No, well, well, I told Lee that. You obviously weren't watching. You was probably when you were unwrapping your fat burger, so you I couldn't hear. The first one but I already, I already told him that. <laughs> I may have been the first one to call you out on your tanking, right? At least in cash games. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I yelled at him two months ago, Bellagio. Oh, this is years ago. <laughs> you remember? This wasn't yeah, two but months that's ago. just because I was decimating. You were just, you're so annoying that hand. The one where I have like five X'd out of the It was pre flop. Line? Yeah, it was like pre flop, but it just took so long. I mean, I was trying to figure out how much I wanted to raise to. What do you want to bet Doc Sands wins this hand? I'll bet you a shiny nickel. You take the field, I get Doc Sands? I'll take the field. <laughs> I just made myself a nickel. Winter Halter is coming. Just kidding, she missed. Sands checks, Mather checks. And it looks like she is gonna take a stab, but I think she's gonna have a hard time convincing anyone she's got a seven. She's gonna turn up here with a seven about as often as I wake up next to one. Now a six, a six I can rep. Yeah, I can actually vouch for him. Watching his dating life is kind of like a really sad, desperate episode of The Bachelor. It's so sad, it's almost French. That's a, that's a beast right now. Getting real sick of you, Sands. Coming around here. He Look at the trip tricks from Winterhalter. He's not gonna She's got game. Well, that's what happens when your hands are so wonderfully moisturized. You can do <laughs> stuff like that. You and I, it, like, sparks would be flying and pieces of skin would be going <laughs> everywhere. Now, I thought Kelly was probably posturing before a fold, but she's floating there with Ace-10. Yeah, high. take that, Stapleton. <laughs> 10 on the turn. I was gonna say she was gonna have to check it down or take over the betting lead, but now she can actually get some value. Come on, baby, bring me home that nickel. Doc checks. We know this would be a great spot for her to bet. Oh, who are we kidding? I, if I'm her, I'm terrified right now. I don't have any clue what this man with 21 ounces of uneaten steak immediately behind him. <laughs> who knows what he's doing? Oh man, oh man, sweet oh. sassy Mo Lassie. Doc Sands has missed less tonight than the Kaiser Chiefs miss a beat. Oh, and I was so gonna put that nickel into my Acorns account too. Oh. That was the absolute best card in the deck for him. Oh no, it's gonna get really expensive, isn't it, Stapes? Tell me if he takes a bite of steak, I can't watch. I call. <laughs> Well, Kelly frustratingly calls wow. and takes a look at the bad news. Two words, brutal. I'm gonna say, yeah, that, that was that wasn't uh, correct. Twenty-two fifty. Okay. Is she talking about the pot size or the call on the flop? I should not have just said that. Been a Seahawks fan for over twenty years. Huh? Said I've been a Seahawks fan for over twenty years. Since uh, they started? Since uh, a little bit after. When did they start? 76? Yeah, no. Yeah, 76. I was going to say probably, 77. Probably 76. around 85, 86, 83, something like that. Dave Craig? Yeah. Largent yeah. was still there. Chris Largent, Warren. yeah. He went into politics, right? Largent? Yeah. Now they're raising King Jack off. Is he still in politics? He was a senator in Oklahoma for a while. Yeah. Okay. He did well. I just want to see Phil win. Like, it's no fun if Phil's not winning. Like, we've already seen plenty of Phil gets beat tonight. Let's get some Phil winning in us, huh? It ain't looking good for him here, because Matt Glance, that old son of a gun, has yeah, rockets. Squeeze the most out of his athletic ability than any other football player yeah. in the history of the NFL. Largent? Largent. Middle pair for Helmuth. He wasn't super fast. He wasn't like he just had what about ran Brady? perfect routes and what about didn't, Brady? Didn't drop the ball. How about Chris Collinsworth? 700 the bet from Glance and a call yeah, from Helmuth. He's carried it on to such a long career in broadcasting. Hard to take anybody with Brady. Seventh round pick. Yeah. Oh, there we go. See, now that's what I'm talking about. Now that he is two pair, he is the poster child for why playing good is overrated. Because when he plays good, he loses. And on this hand, I'll just say he's going to win. You figure out the rest. 1,100 the bet from Helmuth. Our race. Oh. <laughs> I have two pair. Yeah, Those two pair very likely to be good and... 
River. He's good. Home and dry. Well, he lost his mind. I was, uh, I was not afraid of that six in the turn. <laughs> was six bad. was that the was best bad. card ever. <laughs> six was Jim. See, just like that. See, I wanted Phil to start winning. Now give us a little Phil. Come on, give us a little bit. He can't because even he knows he had no business being in that hand. 4,000. Queen six, jack six. What a day to make hands with garbage. Helmuth finally takes down a pot when he cracks Glance's aces. I call him with queen six, honey. Stick around and we will tally up the final counts when we come back. When I'm playing poker and, I, and you make fun of me and I swing back, that's you being an ass to me and me just putting you right down where you deserve to be. No, you oh, came God. with, you came with, you I want to go in with loser. rags just to get you out of came, here. You came at I feel me. like I'm at my family's Thanksgiving at me dinner. I was a high school loser. I admitted it. I said, yeah, I was a high school How loser. How did we get to high school? We were all losers in high school. Play the game! Poker Night is brought to you by Sit and Go 2.0. Go to sitandgo20.net and claim your free Sit and Go 2.0 strategy ebook. Day one is done, and for Kelly Winterhalter, really things weren't going her way. Oh, and then she hit that nut flush on the river. I like having her around. And uh, here's where the money went right into the pockets of Harlan Karnofsky, Doc Sands, Rep Porter, and Lee Markholt. Now, if you want more Poker Night, you can find us on social media, including Twitch and YouTube, where you can find full episodes, live streams, and exclusive content. And don't forget to download our free poker app. You and your friends can have your very own Poker Night, as well as a chance to win a seat in our show. Search for us in your app store and download it today. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Chris Hansen, he's Joe Stapleton, and thanks for watching. Poker Night is brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal and Sit and Go 2.0.